Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am pretty sure you know what this look is about. I am going to be doing the Rihanna, one of Rihanna's looks from the latest video that, video that she appears in. Uh, and that's the Wild Thoughts video, the DJ Khaled's new song called Wild Thoughts, where she's actually one of the feature artists. I absolutely loved the beat. I mean, the song is fire, the video is fire, everything about that whole vibe is like real fire so this is one of my favorite looks from that video and this is the one that she's wearing when she is in that very sexy ruffly jade green dress almost like a baby doll dress and it's like and it's of course very see-through I absolutely loved that look so I decided to try my hand at it a little bit you know I tried to use a mix of drugstore products uh, some more high-end products, some uh, makeup pro products, but basically use whatever you have in your stash. It is a very bold look and this is a classic example of actually being able to wear a very bold eye with a very bold lip if you pair them correct. So this actually works out. So I am going to show you the steps that I used. All my information is going to be listed down below including all the products that I used for this tutorial and while you're there make sure you sign up for my email newsletter and check me out on social media so let me go so the eyebrows are already done I used the Glossier boy brow in black and benefit goof proof brow pencil in 05 eyebrows done I'll put a link to my review on the boy brow above next up is my base I love this primer it's one of my favorites from 2016 Mac prep and prime 24 hour extend eye base and I also put a link to my mini review on it below this helps smooth out the skin and it makes your eyeshadow last a lot longer it gives it great staying power so if you have problems with getting your eyeshadow to stay and not crease on you look at this one to me this is even better than the urban decay primer potion i'm putting a little bit on my lower lash line as well next up are my colored bases i am using two pencils from shea moisture and they are the ultra smooth long wear eye pencil in teal and turquoise i'm also using the makeup forever aqua xl extra long lasting waterproof eye pencil in S20, S20. So I love these bases. I love the vibrancy of, the, of these colors and it, it closely matches what Rihanna was wearing in that video. These are all long wearing eye pencils. So they stand up to the heat. They stand up to the gym. They stand up well, I like them. I've also used these Shea Moisture pencils in another video that I'll also post for you and um, yeah you can get those at Target it's part of the Shea Moisture Cosmetics line and I'm going to use the teal color which is the darker of the two colors on the outer two-thirds of my eye from the lash line all the way up to the crease so just apply that you don't have to be super neat because this is just going to be a base to kind of help intensify the color and you can blend it out as I'm doing here with your finger being being very gentle so we're just blending away applying and blending next up I'm going to take the makeup forever eye pencil which is a slightly darker teal color I would say and I'm using that on my lower lash line so I'm I'm also applying that all the way from the outer corner and in two-thirds of the way on the lower lash line. Again, this doesn't have to be neat. If you look at the video, she is very glowy, very... Her makeup is a little bit messy. Her hair is... She has that curly bob. So it's not a perfectly done look. Next up, I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Pencil in Turquoise which is a much brighter blue turquoise color. Because as you can see from the video as well, she has highlighted, she's used the turquoise color to highlight her inner corners of her eye and that brightens up 
the look as well. So I'm applying that to both the upper and lower lids. And again, blending so you can have an even evenness of color. Next up in this look, this is going to be where I'm adding additional color. So this is a pro line that I love. This is a brand called Meron and they've been around for decades and they really specialize in pro makeup, theatrical makeup. And I love using these precious gem powders, which are basically pigments that contain reflective pieces in them, as well as I'm using this as a mixing medium. And this is the Nurturing Force Seal the Deal Eyes Mixer Fixer. That's a long name. And I'm using my mixing palette and palette knife to help me mix these colors. So basically, this Mixer Fixer from Nurturing Force is a mixer that you can add on top of eye pencils, eyeshadows to seal them and to make them more long lasting. So if you have find sometimes that your eyeshadow or eyeliner doesn't last long enough, add this on top of it or I am as I'm doing here I'm actually mixing it mixing it in with the pigments to intensify the color and the effect of the shimmer in the product if you don't have this don't worry use what you have i found this this is from ruby kisses and this palette is called what is this palette called this palette is called i actually forget <laughs> but this is ruby kisses you can actually find this in your beauty supply store I thought I wrote that down, but I guess not. So what I did here, I'm taking, I mixed both the Miron gem powders in sapphire and turquoise, mixed the two of them on my mixing palette, and then I used the MAC 242 brush to apply it on the outer two-thirds of the eye on both the upper and lower lash line. I wanted to add they took this use of sapphire color because it has more of a more silver accent in there. So, and I use that to help intensify the look. So I use basically half and half turquoise and sapphire to create that color that you're seeing there right now. So where, depending on where, how you move your eyes, you're going to see a little bit of silver reflection at you. Now I'm taking the, this color and this is the aquamarine color. So it's, this is the lightest of the three colors. So the darkest one is sapphire. The middle shade is turquoise. The lightest one is aquamarine. And I, of course, added some of the Mixer Fixer to it to intensify it some more using the same 242 MAC brush and applying it to the inner corners of my upper and lower lids. Now, I'm just going to blend out my crease a little bit to kind of make sure, making sure all the colors blend well, well into my crease and above my crease. And I am using the Makeup Forever eyeshadow in the color M605, which is a matte milk chocolate brown shade. Beautiful texture, beautiful finish. And I'm using the Cosetti Blending Eyeshadow Brush in S175. Also one of my favorites from 2016. So I'm just using that to blend in the crease, starting at the outer corner of my eye and blending in, just to balance out the look on both the upper and the lower lash lines. This is a beautiful soft brush. If you're looking for a vegan brush that works very well, I'll re recommend Cosetti. Next up, I'm taking Cork Eyeshadow from MAC, which is one of my staples. I've, I've hit pan, obviously, on it. And I'm just using that to blend out that Makeup Forever eyeshadow. And the cork eyeshadow is more of a light beige color. And actually works very well on dark skin as well. It's warm enough where it doesn't leave ashiness. And I'm using the same Cassetti brush to help blend that out all the way up to my brow bone. On both eyes, so I'm starting 
at the outer corner and, and using small circular motions and I'm blending in. Next up is the Mel Cosmetics Dark Matter Stack in Blur. And I'm using the Smith Cosmetics brush in 230 to apply my highlight. I don't want my highlight to compete with the rest of the look. So I'm using this almost bone color highlight in a, in a very, very light wash of color for a subtle highlight. The focus is going to be on the eyes and not the brow bone. Next, I'm using the NARS as a liner using the MAC, either 263 or 266 brush. I don't remember the number came off, but it's an angled brush. I also have that other brush from MAC, which is one of my favorite brushes, and that one of my favorite brushes to add, apply liner, but this time I'm just going to use the, the MAC angled brush, and I'm using the NARS Eye Paint in Black Valley. I'm not creating a wing, even though in Rihanna's look, her eyes are winged out. In, uh, there's an exaggerated wing with the shadow. But in this look, I'm keeping it more just in the, in the immediate eye area. And, you know, if you can take baby steps with this look, you can not wing it out if you feel a little bit more shy in using such an intense color and it being winged out. But you don't have to do that. If you want to go all out, wing that shadow, wing that liner. So I'm just lining the upper lid with this Black Valley from NARS. This is one of their cream, it's basically like a cream liner slash cream shadow. Comes in a myriad of colors. It's a great formula. It's right up there with my MAC Black Track and the equivalent one from Bobbi Brown. It's a really good liner. Next up, on my lower lash line, I'm using my favorite eye pencil from MAC. And this is the MAC Cold Power Eye Pencil in Feline. It's super soft, it's matte, and it's very, very dark. It's one of the darkest colors that I have, and I absolutely love this. Lining the lower waterline with this. And be very gentle with your eyes. Don't pull on your eyes. I press my lower lid very gently to expose more of the waterline instead of pulling on the eye. Because I am trying to stave off those wrinkles. So just take your time, apply the liner, blend out as you need. But again, this look is not going to be super neat because I wanted to still have that kind of messy vibe that it has in the video. For mascara, I'm using the Makeup Forever Extend Excessive Lash Mascara. I love the brush on, the, uh, on this mascara. It's super small, so it really helps me get into my super, super tiny lower lashes. So I'm just putting a light coat of mascara to prep for my lashes. You have to have lashes in this look, and I use the... Elevation Lashes by Danessa Myricks. Now to the skin. I am using here a new product that I recently picked up. A new shade, I should say. I've been using this product for a while, but this is a newer shade that I did not have. And this is the Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam Body Radiance in Peach Deluxe, which is the color that she, Melanie Mills, collaborated with a YouTuber called Sandra Deluxe. And it's a gorgeous peach basically peach body makeup. It's not a lotion. It's, it is actual body makeup. The more you, you apply, the more intense it will be. So I'm applying this all over my neck, chest area, my shoulders, and I'm going to use this on my face. I don't have any foundation on my cheek area. So I'm just going to add this first, and then I'm going to put foundation above that. I'm applying this in a very gentle patting motion. I don't want to be too rough with my skin. So I'm going to apply that so I can, I can have that kind of glowy from within look. Oh, I forgot to say that I also applied the Lock On Lash Super Lash Adhesive in Black to apply, to attach my false lashes with. And that's also by Vanessa Marix. Love that glow from the 
Peach Deluxe. It's a fantastic color. And this color works great on all skin tones. As a matter of fact, all of her colors that she has works on all skin tones. Let me know if you want me to do a swatch review on the Melanie Mills products. So look at that glow. Fantastic. Fantastic. And if you look at the video, Rihanna has that very, very glowy, semi-sweaty look on her shoulders. Next up, foundation. My ride or die foundation, pretty much. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade R530. I'm applying this with my fingers, starting on my cheek area, and then I'm extending that all over to the rest of the face. And using this technique of putting your shimmery highlight or shimmery base on the skin first and then using the foundation, it kind of gives you that lit from within look, that very glowy look, without it looking too obvious. So there, foundation has been applied. That Melody Mills product acts as a really, really good base. Now I'm going to set. Not setting all the areas of my skin, setting underneath the eye and a little bit on my forehead. And I'm using another makeup artist's cult favorite product. And this is the RCMA, no co the, this is the RCMA, the original no color powder setting powder. It's no color. Do not bake with this. Don't need to bake with this. This is excellent for all skin tones. It is white. But when you apply it to your skin and it hits the moisture on your skin, it turns transparent. Now, I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that Peach Deluxe over the foundation after I have set for additional highlight. And because I absolutely love the glow that this gives. So as you can see, I didn't set my entire face. There are areas that are still more glowy. Please do not, I do not bake ever. Don't use this product to bake unless you want to actually look as if you dipped your face in powder or in a bag of flour. But this is an excellent, excellent setting powder that I highly recommend and is very inexpensive. I think that bottle cost me about between $10 and $12. So that will last you the rest of your life pretty much. I'm applying a little bit of that Peach Deluxe on my brow bone for a very, very subtle sheen. Again, I don't want the brow bone area to compete with the rest of the eyes. I kind of want you to see the highlight as you turn your face in a particular, at a particular angle and it catches the light. And the little excess that I have, I'm just applying it to the rest of my skin next up blush I want to keep the blush pretty neutral as not to compete with the eyes or the lips so I'm using a brown beauty favorite every woman of color should have this in their arsenal and this is max blush in sweet as cocoa it's a red tone brown with a sheen and it just adds a hint of color and a hint of sheen to the skin. And I'm using the MAC 129 brush to apply it. Finally, the bold red lips. I'm using NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl, one of my absolute favorite shades. I'm using that as both as a base and as a pencil liner. If you don't have these products and, or you, and you're looking for something that's inexpensive, ColourPop lipsticks in uh, the shade Booty, which is part of their Matte X collection, is a good red-orange to wear. I wanted this to be a red-orange look, so the Dragon Girl is very, very red, and it, it is a great base for this look. It's a great matte base, so I'm applying that. And then on top of that, I'm adding the MAC Lady Danger Matte Lipstick, which is more of a orangey red and then on top of that to brighten the look I added the Sasha Cosmetics Intense Matte Lip Velvet in the shade Life of the Party. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.